Welcome to the podcast, the <laughs> Ox Life You podcast. At Ox that. Life You. Uh, I am your host, Mr. Made Over, and I'm here with the lovely, wonderful, amazing, <laughs> the woman I adore. And Mrs. Made Over. And uh, she decided to join me today on today's podcast. Um, she's brave. She must really love me <laughs> to actually really join in on this podcast but um <laughs> <laughs> your first experience huh so how you feel about it I mean, nervous like you used to watching and and seeing me in action now you're in the action jesus i'm nervous like what would you mean like what would you, i mean why would you be nervous because you're used to talking and then i mean you stood in front of plenty of people and talked but it's always a difference like it's a difference when you are standing in front of a group of people, but then most people I stand in front of anyway, I know. But I mean, you're, but this is a different type of crowd. But they, I mean, you can't. I mean, like <laughs> you will be standing in front of thousands of people. Jeez. Thank you for the love on the <laughs> uh, uh, on the uh, the views on, on on YouTube and stuff like yeah. that. I do. Appreciate, man, because uh, y'all keeping the brother, keeping the brother going. Feels good. So uh, today's topic, man, we are going to talk about. Uh, before we dive into the actual podcast, I do want to talk about uh, something that has been on my heart that I need to touch base with. Now, listen, people, I'm a pretty calm, collective guy. I am. Most of the time You know say I, I'm pretty But I have to talk about Something Lately That has been Irritating me <laughs> I don't know If it's because I'm older or, or 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 what But I gotta talk about Nats <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry I, I just feel like These things are so Disrespectful <laughs> to me Like I'm trying to get back in shape Like <laughs> Like I'm serious about getting back in shape Trying to be healthy Trying to be more You know Mindful about what I'm doing But I swear to you <laughs> These gnats To me are so Like But you're in the south Like no social distance when it comes to gnats No there is not It's not You're in the south You're in the hot Humid South Gnats love it And then we're not going to talk about When they start smelling things that are sweet Because then you got to Realize is it really gnats Or is it fruit flies Or are they one and the same that, like, And <laughs> if you so, do know the difference <laughs> Say what, what it difference? is In the comment section Because <laughs> at the end of the day I just like like I pop myself in the mouth Trying to get a gnat out of my face Like It just don't make no <laughs> sense Like if I swing once, that means go away. <laughs> when you come right back less than a second, come on. Like, for me, like, I'm just not used to this type of disrespect. Like, give me my space. Okay, that's my rant. That is my rant. <laughs> okay, but I just want to clarify. The fruit fly is actually a type of gnat. So, there are different types of gnats. Now they got group. species. <laughs> now, now is it <laughs> of guanat or is it gnat? No, it's gnat. The G is silent. Why I hear somebody say guanat? Well, okay. Stay in school. <laughs> <laughs> stay fun. Stay, stay in school. Um, I think a lot of people know about me, but Ooh. they don't know who you are. Oh, they know that hey, I'm Mr. Made over. Yeah, and you're married. You know, and blah, blah, Mr. Made over in the building. You know, yeah. you know. So this is like your first yeah. going from the back to the front. So it's kind of like playing the background to now you in the heat of the fire, right? So now, Jeez. like you got to introduce yourself to people <laughs> besides you know I'm just you know. His, his I'm just half. his better half. <laughs> um, so you have to break that down, like to the audience, those who are watching and those who are listening. Thank you for those who are listening on the the 
podcast. Yes, thank you. All my listeners, y'all have definitely been showing the brothers some love. Thank you. But tell the people who you are. Like, like more than just, I mean, like, like, besides just being a wife, I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm <laughs> sure you, you're your other things too. You have. Of course. I mean, I'm a wife, a mother, uh, to five. Bless your heart. <laughs> five. <laughs> um, but I have a small town, Southwest Georgia is where I hail. Mm. Um, born and raised, Southern <laughs> withdraw well, draws. Um, so, um, but I've traveled, well traveled. Bad. Is facts right I've there. I've been from the been east coast around the world to the and I, I, I. <laughs> I've been from the east coast to the west coast and back uh, to the east coast. Um, I am educated. I love school. <laughs> yeah, I love. Is, I love facts. learning. I'll say that I love learning, and I believe that you never stop learning. Um, so you say that there's value. And learning Yes There's always value in learning And learning does not just occur Inside of a brick and mortar institution mm -hmm. So it does not necessarily Have to be in the building You can go Different places To basically just Enhance your knowledge um, <laughs> I'm just enjoying um, the talk and so I love learning. I love uh, teaching and informing people of different things. Um, what else do I do? Reading. I love reading. Um, getting finally getting back into uh, being able to read. And we well, I'm finishing up um, Michael Todd's The Relationship Goals. Awesome book. Awesome book. Awesome read. Um, yes, it is great. This is a plug for you, Michael Todd. Um, I think y'all should. I, I encourage everybody good. to get that book. It um, is very good. Um, and I'm finding myself reading it at appointments, um, picking it up, um, and just really trying to finish it. Uh, so I love reading. Um, I'm an educator at heart. So I have been a uh, higher education and now I uh, work for a school district and I love it. Okay. Well, um, so, so you would say that you've been through some changes when it comes to education. I have been through changes just in general in life, which brings us to our topic. We're <laughs> going to be talking about changes. changes. So, um, me, <laughs> I embrace change. Jeez, he does. And funny thing is, I I wasn't always like that. I didn't always. I used to fight change like it was nobody's business because I felt like change was more harmful than helpful. And it's probably because of the my past situations that I've been in life. I mean, I think we all judge things off past experience. Right. We all automatically think that if it happened once, it happened again. Yeah. So I think it'd be good for you <laughs> to talk about change because change for me, I I can literally embody <laughs> like I can yeah. I can I I can spill on the dime. That's just who I am. But it just depends because for me. I think in a lot of situations, I was forced into a change. So embracing it, I never had the option to be able to do that. So the the free will or their choice to make to go along with the change, it was always this is how it's going to go. So I had no choice but to flip on a dime mm. just as far as being able to survive. And uphold me basically mental capacity mm. so it starts for me it started from just being young where changes were happening within the family structure and you just kind of you're forced to go with the flow instead of choosing uh, let's not go that route let's try it this way or let's stick with it because this is working 
But when you're forced into change, it kind of gives you almost like a tarnished outlook. Like, eh. A lot of times I think um, to hear the word force is kind of like beyond your control. Right. Right. So, like, for me, I think a lot of times things have to be beyond our control. Due to the fact sometimes, like, because we as humans, we get comfortable. We do. And we will sit and sit and <laughs> sit. And it will literally take heaven and hell to move us. And a lot of times, I believe we fight change because people hate unfamiliar territory. I mean, that's true. But then or the unseen. Yeah, but yeah, the unseen or, or treading unfamiliar waters, all of that, the cliche stuff that's out there. But at the same time, people may not like change, but it's more so of what finding the root cause of why they don't like the change or what about change makes them uncomfortable. Or makes them kind of shun having to change whatever it is that's going on. Well, I mean, I think the root of it is fear, and and you know the 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 false evidence appearing real. Like I think we strum up in our head that if this change happens, we paint the biggest picture like. <laughs> and the crazy part is We never paint the picture Of it being successful Right Like we will paint The worst picture <laughs> Like when I pull out The driveway The 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 uh, The trees are gonna fall On the car And I'm just gonna die And I don't know What I'm gonna do But when you pull out The driveway That never happens The biggest Most terrifying thing That you can think <laughs> yeah. of In your head That you Strum up and yeah. and 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 come up with because the to me I I believe the mind is the one of the most powerful things in the world. Right. Due to the fact that what you think and what you believe, you become. That's how I, when the Bible said somewhere between Genesis and Revelations when it says whatever man think if so is so he. is he right. So it's like. I think we take that as a cliche, but ultimately right. that is actual facts. Yeah. Like if I think, if I think, negative, if I think right. so negative in life, like I'll never reap the full benefits of life. Right. And that goes into though with the change, um, you know, and of course this is the educator side coming out that goes into your growth and fixed mindsets. So growth mindset is I'm willing to step outside of my comfort zone at all costs. And um, I'll say deconstruct those things that I have been um, used to doing or those things that I have been taught to do consistently whether it was something you know hereditary that you learn whether it was something that was just passed down within your family mm -hmm. so are you willing to grow your fixed mindset is no matter what you say or what you do it's not going to change how i think about it so i'm in my little box so i'm gonna always think negative about that thing so the the issue becomes like you said we and yeah, it's fear, but then you have to go a little bit deeper because at some point in somebody's life, something happened or some type of change occurred to make that person not like change. Like I can go through and list, oh my gosh, so many different things that kind of made me frown upon change and made me uncomfortable to where I'm kind of timid. And so I tread lightly, but then there's some things when it comes to change. I'm like, okay, well, let's go ahead and jump all in. You know, I think I think people also change to the things that they're comfortable with. Yeah, they do. Just like you said earlier, I love education, and and you have <laughs> you have literally changed in so many different ways when it comes to education. Like yes, like, and this is not a force, but it's like 
this is something I want to do. Right. I like doing it. Yeah. So in order for me to understand this or f further find information or under, you know, get knowledge on mm -hmm. it, I have to change. Like right. I have uh, to get this yeah, information. Because it goes back to what you were saying with the mind. It, it goes into with education or I can say with even when it came down to dating you. Like uh, that's, that's a good chance. having <laughs> having <laughs> you having about, <laughs> having a growth or fixed mindset because right. you know my fixed mindset would was no sir I'm not going to date you because you live in a different state that's my fixed mindset did that didn't work out I'm not even trying to do that do that again so you say that. That's that, because of your past relationship. That will be because that would be, I don't want to do this change of now I'm single and now you're asking me to do something bef that I've already done before that was not successful. So now this is another change because I'm going from being single to having a long distance relationship. And I was anti that. So, and that's because when I ultimately did a change similar to it, it did not work out. So that gave me the fixed mindset. Well, I can't deal with it because it's far. It's not going to work out. That's the fixed mindset. People, let me tell y'all something. <laughs> what y'all hear what she just said? <laughs> she date profiled me. <laughs> now Talk. listen, because this this is what we mentally do. I want y'all to understand. This is what we mentally do. I chomped now I listen to the box. She definitely clump me together <laughs> with all the other, you know, jerks that did you wrong. <laughs> nah, I can't do it. But listen, listen, listen. <laughs> Everybody's different. Everybody is, I feel, uniquely made in their own way. But you didn't let me finish. But what I'm saying is, <laughs> people have to hone in on. I didn't do it because I I had a it failed before, <laughs> right? And looking at another <laughs> long distance, reason why I won't do it is because of this guy right here who jacked it up, messed it up. You know, did whatever he everybody. did. Um, <laughs> it's like knows. everybody. You, you, I got profile, right? Without really being known, <laughs> but you know, continue. But you know, I, I had to plead my case on that. I want you to understand. Just because it looks similar, it's not the same. No, it is. It's definitely not the same. But then, on the other hand, it was having the growth mindset of okay, let me see if this will work. So even and that was a change that was a change in mindset, but I had to be willing to take that step. So what we have to realize is when it comes down to change, just because you're used to something being some way or you think a certain way at some point changes is going to happen. Oh yeah. So just like you know, just like they said, just like the seasons change, um, you know, Which right? Which facts. Facts. <laughs> we can't control that. So in our lives, we also have to understand that there are going to be things that we can't control. And I think, truthfully, that's what made me embody change, due to the fact that I found more success in accepting change than fighting change. Right. And if if I literally, because I think a lot of times things are passed on to us from generation to generation mm -hmm. to generation. That's why a lot of us are not where we need to be because your mother, your father, your dad, or your uncle, whoever passed you on the fear of don't change. Right. Stay the same. Stay the same. Yeah. Like, and a lot of times we are byproduct of our own environment. Yes. But. We could come up out of that environment. We can. And become something greater than we're like most success story, you pay attention to it. Right. Most wealthy people, most, you know, entrepreneur who's successful always talk about how they had to fight to get from this right. to this to this. And it and it and it it made them understand that change is a great thing. Yeah. Because we have to break the stigma of that when things change is always something for the bad. But like you said, sometimes it's passed down through generations to where, you know, if I, okay, I'll give, you know, my mama was a hardworking person, woman, you know, and she was 
pretty much like the breadwinner. My grandma, same thing. So for me, it became, okay, I have to work hard no matter what. Because that was what I was used to. It was, yes, they're both married, but they were still like, we wear pants too, almost an instance. Mm. And so the change for me had to come to where I had to break that stigma of I'm independent, independent. But when I married you, then the roles had to basically be defined of, okay, you could be independent, but then now the change comes where there's a male that is the head of the house. That was tough for you. That was very tough. Now that was a big, oh gosh, that was a huge change for me. Ladies, gentlemen, listen. <laughs> <laughs> I, felt, I felt like the color purple <laughs> all my life. Eyes has to fight. But uh, <laughs> I feel like yeah, but like 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 we have to go back to yeah. like you said you you've seen it from your mother right and for me I grew up in a you know mom was basically the the father for a while mm -hmm. until you know I had my stepdad but then we didn't have a bond that like we had an okay bond but right. I, you know like he had more of a bond with my uh, my older brother but still. I always see my mom work. Right. I always see my mom work. Yeah. And my my stepdad, he worked too, which which he still does work. Yeah. And you know, it was just one of those things that I've always seen them struggle though. I've always seen them like go from paycheck to paycheck to paycheck to paycheck. And for me, and I think that's why I'm so hell bent now on basically like I don't want that. Like for me, the generational thing has to stop right. with me. Yeah. So, and I think that's why I'm more so now like embodying change because I know that like if I stay on the same hamster wheel that my mom, my dad, my uncles, and my family right. stayed on, like if I die, and my wife, she hates when I talk <laughs> like this, but if I die today, what do I have to leave my kids? Right. And what do I have to leave my children, children, children? Mm -hmm. And I'm so much on this, like my mindset now, my, my, my goals and my mindset now is so different because it has to be changed. Like right. I look at my family history and I get disgusted due to the fact that it wasn't because we wasn't talented or we wasn't gifted. Nobody just want. Nobody wanted to go through with the change. Nobody right? wanted to go through yeah. the change. Everybody want to stay the same. But when you when you look at when you look at our 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 race, a lot of us don't want to break that cycle because one, you don't know how. Two, if you don't have anybody p pushing you and believing you, then you automatically think that okay, it's it's over. Cause like I'll give you, I'm first generation college student, meaning like I'm the first person in my family to go to college. Bless your heart, B right, Jesus. And so, but the difference was is my mom recognized something and wanted to push me. Not that my aunts and uncles did not push their kids, but my mom pushed a little bit harder, fought a little bit harder because she knew that me getting an education would foster some type of change. Now, was it probably very challenging for her to have that big push behind me? Yeah, but at the end of the day, it's like, you look, at, if I look at where I am now and I look at some of where my relatives are, it's kind of like, man, I'm glad Miss P was my mama because she stood behind me and she pushed me and she pushed for a change she believed mm -hmm. in a change even though in herself you know it probably didn't look like she could change her surroundings right. and eventually you know but it was we had to will our like my mom had to like literally will me up out of that so that i would not be trapped or be a statistic in that area so as a race and as parents we need to 
foster like n- not wait till you know you my age and now trying to figure out okay yeah. let me go with the flow but we need to foster in our children at a younger age and this is everybody in general that change will happen but the the outlook or the perception that you have on that change is what makes it worthwhile i think it's funny though like most people most people are willing to change for a nine to five yeah but when it comes to investing in becoming ownership of your own stuff. They don't want to do that. They don't want to do that. No. But you will feel slighted if the company bellies under and say, okay, you can't come in. Oh, yeah. Like for me, that's the biggest fear. Like, like, yeah. like that's why I don't like nine to five for those who, you know, do your thing. But <laughs> for me, for, for me, right. nine to five is a hamster wheel that people just need to get off of. And and just like you said, a lot, a lot of times people don't do it because they don't know. But at the end of the day, they will figure out how to move up that ladder right. in corporate. Yeah. They will figure out how, like, I've seen people brag about, you know, well, you know, I made over such and such a sales mm-hmm. around about this time. It's like, for me, like, but you're still under somebody. Yeah. Like, for me, I'd rather be like, I'm at my most happiest time because I'm, I'm an owner now. Yeah. Like, I own my own stuff. Like, I can fire myself. Only way, <laughs> like, I fire me. You know what I'm saying? Like, nobody can say, what? nobody can say, like, you fired. Like, <laughs> I'm going to say, li- li- listen, listen, I'm, I'm glad you drove here today, but you fired. <laughs> you fired. Like, hey, we got to throw hands. <laughs> Come on, meet my, matter of fact, don't even meet me outside, meet Sad. me now. But for somebody to have that much control right. over you, like, you're working to put money in their pocket. And fund their family. They going on family vacations <laughs> off your hard work. That she's like, I feel some type of way you about do, that. And you, this is that's the <laughs> that's the change that you know. I mean, this is a topic where we kind of agree, dis- disagree. disagree. You know, like um, yeah, well, th- this is what keep us in prayer. Yeah. You know, because but I mean, but yeah, I mean, we're better. A, yeah, this is a change, like. Stepping into what you do on a consistent basis as a way of bringing in income, this is me stepping into your box and this is change because not that I was anti being an entrepreneur and having multiple streams of income, never have been. I just got to have structure Um, and I don't know what to do with extra time. I'm going to be real honest. So create. Three more businesses. Three, That's what yeah, he's like, create more. <laughs> but I, I'd rather he take the lead and he just tell me that, that extra But that then extra guess what, time. y'all? Guess what? He can still fire me, though. <laughs> so, <laughs> nah, she so, here for life. <laughs> but... Uh, <laughs> But I think, you know, that's the difference because I've been on one of those situations to where I work for a company and then uh, it was kind of like, okay, you're not doing what we need you to do. We need to do this, 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 this. Or y'all know those companies that, you know, you got to meet a certain quota by a certain time deadline. Been there, done that. And so, well, it was call center environment, but it was more for, it was a higher education institution that I worked for. Um, but you had to have so many students enrolled at a certain time. Um, so for that, the change came when, I mean, I had several changes when it came to nine to five, because one job I quit because I was in a full-time master's program and working full-time and they didn't want to work with my school schedule anymore. Okay, cool. I I got stuff I need to do. (laughs) And then, you know, but that was a change because then it went from, like having income to no income, but then them too having a fixed mindset of, I was telling them, no, this is just a temporary start for me. Like I'm not trying to be answering phones for a cell phone company, helping somebody with minutes and bills. Like, so I had to step out of that mindset and not conform to them saying, oh, well, you know, you fresh out of college and you making, you know, 14, $15 an hour. Yeah, bet. But I'm I got a bachelor's degree <laughs> like I'm trying to do things with my life mm-hmm. and so the change where for me that was a forced change because I had to make the decision school or stand this job that really I didn't I wasn't happy with 
Um, but then forced where is income because that was when I wasn't on this side with family. Um, and then going through another job and being like laid off, making great money, <laughs> single person, no kids. That's what's up. You know, but the change came because once you're laid off, then you have to start like you're forced to make the decisions. Oh, yeah. So why not? Why not have things happen to where when they change, you're already prepared for it when it comes? Because some changes that happen in our life, we're not prepared for it. Mm -hmm. I mean, you can take losing a loved one. You know, I mean, we, we always talk about, you know, I don't like how you talk about it if you die tomorrow. But like that would be a change for our family dynamics so it will be kind of like a force change but you talking about it and you setting things in motion now with the multiple streams of income and then me being able to step into it to see how things work to see how things function to see how you maneuver the things that you do that forces me even though i am in a nine to five and i do check in with somebody it still allows me to have that change willingly to understand the entrepreneurial side of our family businesses that we have. And I think now, like whoever say, whoever said that, you know, I don't like change. You know, I, like, I just don't like. Mm. I think COVID <laughs> has oh. made everybody change. Woo, At the end of the day, listen, <laughs> yes. COVID has literally made people realize Yes. Number one, how much they need to work on. Yes. Number should, two, though. well, should should, 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 should. We'll say that. But what they need to get together. Right. You know, and understand that life, life within itself, it's you have no control. Right. Over. We have no control. And I think, too, that was a difference for that was a huge. Well, COVID has been a huge change for us because, you know, I was wife, teacher, teacher to my students and teacher to our kids and daycare to the youngest and still trying to uphold all of those different roles. And for us, it was a big change mm -hmm. because, you know, our summer and you've said it before, you didn't even expect your summer to end up like this. No, I did not. Because in my mind, fixed mindset, in my fixed mindset, I had already planned the summer to be a certain way. But and then she when she was already panicking, <laughs> I was already having panic already attack. Panicking. And then when COVID happened, it just kind of um made it to where we can we had to sit back. And it was that was a I will say that COVID is a forced change. It forced everybody to be in positions where they're uncomfortable. But I think for me, I loved it. Yeah. Like, I mean, we still love it because we're still like quarantined. COVID <laughs> has literally. Yeah, we still. Have it. Yeah. Don't get it twisted. Like we yeah, we still. Here, no, you know, we, we on not. The beach. We mask now. But uh, <laughs> listen, <laughs> COVID for me has shown me how much I am prepared. Yeah. Because I'm flourishing more now than ever before. Because it's it, it's kind of like my mind is like tunnel vision on so many different things, and it's like there's no I mean there was no stopping me before. COVID. No, it wasn't. And it's like really no stopping me now. But it's yeah. kind of like okay, I think you were able. I think this. COVID COVID slowed COVID slowed our family down. I'll say it that way. COVID slowed our family down because it it was um, hit miss. You know, you going, I'm coming back and forth. And COVID slowed us down to where um, you were able to focus in on what you needed to focus in on. And then it slowed me down enough for me to be able to also focus in on what you fo and get a clarity, I think, of yeah. what it is that you do to actually understand it and not be like, eh, I don't want to do that because I'm not no. Mm -mm. Because that was, you know, I'm like, I don't know what you do. I don't know what that means. And what is that? So it slowed me down for me to have a change mindset to say, my husband keeps saying that these are family businesses. So I can still have my nine to five and I can still be a part of the family business for right now. 
And then the crazy part is, I think a lot of times it, it slowed us down to the point where, like, it made me realize what my first investment is. Right. Which is. Which is us. Yeah. Which is our family. That, like, right. That is the number one. Yeah. Size God. Of course right. Know. But. But I mean, it made us first, focusing on that too, though. Like, like, like the first corporation. Yeah. Is 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 us? Yeah, and that's what it made me realize. Like you know, so you know, like you're not working or doing this thing for nothing, right? You're fighting for a future for your children, children, mm -hmm. children, your generations. Like I'm looking for the day where you know I like I purchase my mom a new house or or, or a, a new car or ship all my my <laughs> my my family where I'm at. You know what right. I'm saying? Like, and for me. I'm just a family oriented oriented yeah. person. And now family back home. Remember, like, like if y'all calling me, listen. <laughs> listen. Ch I, change, y'all. It's change. And, and, and I don't pick up the phone. It's don't, okay. don't 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 take it as disrespect. It's okay. Like, it's okay. I'm in my bag right about now. And and I just need y'all to hold off and let me do my thing. Like, it's like, change. That, like but he he I think that's the other part too, because what we do our families don't understand because oh, we have changed <laughs> we have we literally have changed so much, and we are not even the people who we once were, so yeah. when we talk about change it's not. It's not just going through, you know, different job and having to change, you know, going from single. It's like who you are as a person, too. Mm -hmm. And that is the one thing that COVID should have should should have should um, help us to see is who we are as people. And have we changed or how we need to change? Because I know for me in that area, it was be more present in the moment. Mm hmm. Be mentally and emotionally present in the moment, which was a big change for me because I go, 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 go. And so COVID Thanks. literally made me pause, take a step back and be more present in the moment with family. And that's why I think when you do get the, the missed calls, um, you know, from your family back home, is and is, uh, is people here? And yeah, he does not answer the phone all the time. I even as his wife, um, that has not changed. I still have to call multiple times, and I do get the voicemail sometimes. So that has not changed with him. But it is, it is just respecting who you are as a person, and then being able in COVID us to recognize the change in each other. Mm -hmm. And so, yes, families first, but then too, we've also been able to, to bond on a more spiritual level and strengthen our faith in the midst of not physically being able to go in the church. Yeah. And so I think that was a huge change for us because we were, you know, we are active but at the same time, COVID still allowed us, I think we'll adjust it to the change that COVID brought because we both were sharing the same like-mindedness. Yeah. Like we were both like-minded in what we were seeking in this moment of COVID, which was strengthen our faith, strengthen our family, and then spend more time intimately as a family, as husband and wife. So that was a huge change for us because that was something that we, I ain't gonna say didn't find time, but time was precious. Uh, and we didn't, I, I'm, I'm going to say we didn't value it as much to understand the importance of us having to have that connection. I think we forgot about the investment, right? Yeah. Like the investment in the first corporation, which is, which is the, the family. family. Yeah. And and now it brings us back full circle. Of, okay, mm -hmm. listen, this is what you need to do. Yeah, right? because who who's to say that this will live? Right, especially people going to the beach and not doing what they're supposed to be doing. But at the end of the day, like, but who's yeah. who who's to say that? Like, I know people say you know next two months, but I don't believe so. Like, and I believe like I believe like this. If you're out here and you're doing things, 
listen to me, that doesn't bring you f- your family financial freedom, mm-hmm. then you're cheating yourself and right. you're cheating your generation yeah. to generations to generations to come. Because at the yeah. end of the day, you are supposed to be the one fighting for them. Right. You're, and you're fighting for people like kids and children who can't fight, who for, can't themselves. fight for themselves. Right. If we're byproduct of our own environment, you should be creating an environment for these children, for this youth to show them a different way besides, okay, becoming a hoop star. As you see, basketball just got <laughs> started up and it's in the bubble. Right. Who's to say that this is going to change? Okay, right. for those who are trying to be NBA, NFL, what now? Right. Because you... Because it's a change where now you have to shift your mindset. Got to. You... And not only shift your mindset... um, the uh, it's the social emotional learning another you know thing and it, it goes beyond just the classroom but this is the time where you know we do have to start fostering those things because this is such a big change and it is impacting um older people mm-hmm. middle um even our you know even even our our six and four year old you know yeah. when when You know, I got the four year old asking me if coronavirus is in a store. That is a huge change because we should be singing lullabies and different things like that. So it's we have to remember that change is going to one occur. And so it's how we handle the change and what we do in that moment of change that I think makes the biggest difference. Yeah, because. If you always have a negative outlook or a fixed mindset when it comes to anything um, in reference to change, it will be passed down. There's no way that it won't because your children are seeing what you do and you're basically doing what you learned or what you saw from your parents or grandparents or, you know, relatives. I mean, it just follows down that line. So at some point, even if it's uncomfortable, even in the most fearful moments, because COVID is a fearful moment. It is. And so in this moment of being fearful, don't go out and be reckless, I'll say, and and have a lack of what's the word I'm looking for? Like you selfish. Yeah, that <laughs> I was trying to dress <laughs> it up. You know what I'm saying? Like, let's I'm keep it hot. <laughs> no, Honest, okay. open, and transparent okay. at the end of the day. Listen. Don't yeah, don't be selfish because Jeez. it is it is a change. And whatever whatever we do, somebody's always watching. And we to be a role like to be a role model, um, you can change and impact so many different lives. And that's the thing that I think always stands out to me because I've had mentors, I've had role models and still at the age that I am, I'm following several of them on social media, what they do and how they have changed or evolved in, you know, some of them elementary teachers, third grade teachers, fifth grade teachers, but watching them evolve and grow into uh, these wonderful educators and these wonderful people who are continuing to learn and teach others on, on different avenues, like that pushes me to having to change, you know, my outlook. Like you said, I'm big on education. So that not only do I have you pushing me, okay, you got to go higher than this. All right. Well, what are you going to do next? But looking at them, inspires a a change in me as well Mm -hmm. so this is where in the moment of social media uh, in the moment of covid and your secret time behind your phone or whatever it is you're behind you have to always think that people are watching the shift in you i think a lot of times you have to pay attention about the shift within yourself right yeah and and check your heart like like for me i'm very conscious uh, i'm very thoughtful about my actions right like i take on a chess mind you do 
Like I, I'm such a, 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 a like I do not know like like dress. like listen. <laughs> I like even though I'm creating the moves in my in my head. Okay, if I do this, it may lead to this, lead to this, mm-hmm. lead to this. But ultimately, I'm like that is my thought. But God, what you got for me? Right. Like 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 I can have a plan, and it's like okay, but at the end of the day, if it doesn't line up. And, and match up to what he wants right. and what he designs, then, then you just be, spinning right. your wheels. Like, yeah. At the end of the day, I put it to you like this: that change is good for you, and it should be effective to you. But if you do not change and you do not actually embody this thing. You, I'm trying to tell you, you will pass the same thing yeah. that your parents passed on mm-hmm. to you, to your children and your children and mm-hmm. your children, children. For me, that's why I fight so hard as far as to not become a drug addict, not to become an alcoholic, right. not to become a womanizer, mm-hmm. because I know that if I do not change my way of thinking, mm-hmm. my children We'll have that same. We'll have that same right. mentality. Yeah, I'm trying to. I'm living proof of that. If I would have kept doing what I was born and bred to do, then I wouldn't be in a position. I, and I'm in a wonderful position, right? But I think it too. It, go, it goes back to to what we were talking about before is making sure first that spiritually we are. On the right path yeah. but Because I think if If that is In line and then you're You know asking the father For his will then whatever Changes will come it'll be easier to kind of Fall into it because You are always you're already Walking in his will yeah. So <laughs> Regardless of What people are going You know going through or you know uh, dealing with the change may be negative but just like there are negative consequences to things there are also positive consequences so it could be a good change or it could be a bad change but you have to still be able to have that growth mindset it's important too yeah because i think that's the that's one of the biggest things that i've learned in this whole thing of, of teaching and, and being in the education field And that's why I say you never stop learning Because If it hadn't been for you And your outlook on change Then I would still be the wife like man I'm not finna sit and do no podcast I'm not trying to do, mm, Man like I would have fought you But you said what <laughs> Podcast wife Tonight Okay babe <laughs> This is after working out After bro. working out after And I'm like out. Video, I see lights like a huge change because normally I'm like, nah, I'm good. But this is the this is the thing that um, sticks out, and I wanted to to talk about um, something I had pulled up, you know, Google, but explaining the meaning of of change which is basically a variation in the common way of doing things so whenever people perform a task in a certain way they get accustomed to them then they develop methods which they can implement routinely to achieve these tasks any variations in these methods is nothing but a change so in our customs, this is telling us <laughs> that we're going to develop the methods mm-hmm. to accomplish the task. But sometimes, somewhere, there is always going to be something that comes up and there's going to be a variation or a deviation in the way we handle that task or we get to it. And that's where knowledge comes in. Right. And I like I understand when the when the Bible says that my people are destroyed mm-hmm. for the lack of knowledge. Yes. Like. I can understand if he said my people are hurt no, or if, if 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 my people get cut for a lack of but <laughs> it says destroyed 
for the lack of knowledge. Right. And for me, that is the society and that is the world right. and that is the culture right. that we are in now because we lack knowledge. Right. But we want all the fame. We right. want all the money. We want the brand new socks and drawers. <laughs> but <laughs> at the end of the day, they want it all. We don't want <laughs> to do what it takes to get knowledge. Right. And then, like you said, you're destroyed. I mean, like, that's it. it it's it's an end. What does the word destroyed mean? It's a, put to an end of an existence by damaging or attacking it. To ruin, to defeat. So, But then it says the devil come to rob, steal, kill, and destroy. destroy. So if you don't have knowledge on these things... Like, how are you going to become the next millionaire, billionaire or start your own business? Like, I'm an advocate for research. Like, I like that's something when I dive into stuff like I dive in like yeah. from the podcast, like knowing what we need, knowing what we needed to get. Like I dove in. I, I, I obtained knowledge and I obtained knowledge in a way that I'm not just going to do this, this podcast just to do it. Right. It's money attached to this podcast and there's money attached to anything that I do for the most part. And then people are like, well, you 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 just doing it for money. <laughs> Listen. I don't do stuff for free like that anymore. <laughs> I used to do it. But I got a wife and I got kids. Right. And I got children, children. Yes. So at the end of the day. Me personally, I have to go all out. And for me, I feel like I'm behind. Yeah. So like I feel like I have to get it Right Like I've always been known as a go-getter Yeah But now I have the knowledge to go get what I need to right. get For my family and my children People need help out here But you had to But you had to want to change the mentality to one go out to gather the research so you could have the knowledge and a lot of people don't want to do the legwork because that change of man i gotta go out there i gotta do this but that's how you do it like i didn't just wake up and say okay i want to be a teacher and then get in the classroom no nah, it didn't work that way i promise you it didn't work that way if it, it was, was what 10 years <laughs> what <laughs> If it was that easy, it was everybody would do it. Right. <laughs> but it's not. I mean, because if you, you think about you think about the steps that it takes and the changes that occur over time, it's like a, I mean, it's like a a woman being pregnant. Bless your heart. Oh, Jesus. Our body goes through changes. There's nothing we can do about it but go with the flow. We ha like there's no what can we do? Cut the baby out ourselves. No, you can't do that. Sorry. Yeah, it'll be some pain. That'll be some painful stuff. I mean, so I look at the things that we cannot control. When you gain weight, when you look, y'all that eating all these snacks during COVID, you you are watching your body change. Those that are working out, you're watching your body change. So I think what we have to ultimately do is just like we pull up Facebook, just like we pull up Instagram, Snap, Snapchat, TikTok, Twitter, all of those different things to post. We need to start pulling up information and showing not only, you know, ourselves or changing our mentality ourselves, but show our children that even though you have all these electronics at your fingertips use them to get the right, knowledge right. so that we are not destroyed or that we are not put to an end mm -hmm. because if no one tells us like you had to tell me i don't even think you told me you just said babe go on there and look it up like you look up everything <laughs> <laughs> like, like you never, you, you, say, I'm you would not never Google. give, you would <laughs> never give me a freebie. But you, you sent YouTube links. You sent, you sent me the tools as your wife to be able to pull up the information and gather the knowledge that I needed to be able to help you, so that our family businesses, our multiple streams of income, are not destroyed. Mm -hmm. And you made it knowledgeable that wife, I need you to kind of be flexible in these different changes. So in change, you have to be flexible. Gotcha. You have to have the <laughs> stop being lazy because you said we're going to keep it together. Stop being lazy. Go out, do the research while you have YouTube pulled up and you looking at 
Whatever you looking at. After you watch this video, hit the like hit the button like and, and share subscribe. And subscribe. All of you that. Know, all of that. Eh? But yeah. But while you're doing all of those things, seek seek the knowledge. Mm -hmm. Seek the knowledge and the information that you need to be able to do whatever it is that you want to do. And I think that's the thing. Uh, when you mentioned this whole thing about change, it was like, uh, really? Why you want me on there? And you said, babe, because you don't like change. No, Perfect I candy. don't. Perfect but, candy <laughs> but the push that I think you 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 gave me or the push that you have behind me kind of forces me to be like, all right, let me try that. I mean, case in point. <laughs> You think I mean, he thinks I'm very crafty and I'm creative just because you're a teacher. You're not always super creative, but I'm willing to Pinterest and YouTube stuff. But I would not have used YouTube. I'll be honest. I would not have used YouTube in YouTube. that way. Had you not said, Bay, stop trying to read all this stuff and go watch the video because I would rather read it. Because remember, I said that I enjoy reading. So that was a change to sit down and have to now I got to listen to somebody talk to me. And, you know, I think somewhere down the line, nobody diagnosed me with ADD, but I just can't sit and listen to a video longer than five minutes, especially if it's nothing that I don't want to hear. And everything you need <laughs> is on YouTube. Uh oh, I'm just not like, thing, like, like everything you need for success. I, I've seen that. I mean, people are willing to give. Detailed information right. on stuff. So for me, there is no reason that you can't get the knowledge that you can't like. Because I like right. now. Now back in the day, you could when not. there was no Google, hey. there was no YouTube. <laughs> when Come you on, had, when nah. you had like, see change when we had geez. that dial up internet, <laughs> and then your mama you or your understand. daddy like, or your grandma picked up that phone and kicked you off the internet. Yeah, like like y'all got it good. <laughs> Change. We up to five G now. Like, yeah, I mean, yeah, like, like, you like y'all got new, it. Y'all got it good. You made me change and get a new phone, so I got five G. Thank the Lord. But um. it's, I think, when we have people, or I'm not going to say I think, when we have people that are pushing us to the change, we have to stop bucking back against that system because that person is seeing something that we are not. And that's the one thing I could definitely say about you when it comes to family, when it comes to finances, even though I'm usually the banker. But when it comes to different things like that, you are the person who seeks out the change and kind and, and open you open my eyes to see that, OK, this is the route that we need to go. And I normally used to book. But now I'm more open minded because I'm starting to adopt the ways of how you shuck and jive with the chain. Like you, you, you like, ooh, ooh, ooh. backstroke. <laughs> you backstroke like, in You thing. getting it. Now I can't swim, but I love the water. So if I got to wade and jump over the waves, I'm right behind you. So we have to start having uh, or allowing people to impart the knowledge or help us to go out and seek that knowledge. I believe Michael Jordan, we, I've been watching the Yeah, last we have. Day. Oh, it's I just good. finished it. You, you know. finished it without me. Mm. I like, I like, I like, I like change. Mm. But uh, I was watching The Last Dance and we're going to do another thing on that. But one thing, one piece he said in there, he was like, why would I be afraid to take a shot that I've never seen before because mm -hmm. I, I, might, I might make it. But at the end of the day, we as humans always think about, oh, what if I miss? What if, what if I don't hit the buzzer beater? And Mike always talked about like how like he just knew he was going to make it. Like, and for me, that's a person mentally that embodies change. Yeah, he embodied the change and then he knew the he had the knowledge to reflect back on the times cuz I mean the knowledge is what gave him confidence. He was knowledgeable in his skill set that made him confident enough to know that no matter what I mean he might be disappointed but he wouldn't be destroyed because he went out there and he actually used what he gained as well in in, in knowledge and skill set to Overcome whatever changes he had to do. I mean, he looked fear in the eye. Yeah, he did, and he tackled. It went for. He went. I mean, he That's said me. like, like eh. 
it is what it is. Like, it, it, it is what it is. I mean, because at the end of the day, you have to put forth effort. If you don't put forth the effort to do what is necessary to embody change, change is going to do, it's really going to wreck you. Right. Honestly. And you want to think it's more of a punishment yes. than a reward. Right. And for me, I love change. I lo- like I love to see this change. Mm-hmm. Like like I said, I embody change due to the fact that I know it's good for you. Because if we sat like like we as human, we're so prone to just like it has to be the same way all the time. Has to be the same <laughs> way all the time. Like, on like, like like we get comfortable. <laughs> and for me, I feel like if I'm comfortable, something's wrong. When I'm uncomfortable, oh yeah, life no, is good. Li- yeah, like life you're is good. good. Life is good. But if if I'm comfortable in it, nah, I gotta change. Some some something, something has ha- to yeah. shift. Yeah, and I mean, and that's something that a lot of people don't willingly go into. You don't, like you said, you don't want to step out, step outside of your comfort comfort zone. But think about, I mean, I know I said earlier about you know sometimes change is forced, so. You might need to be put in situations where you're forced. You have no choice <laughs> but to change. change. And that happens with jobs. That happens, you know, unfor- unfortunately with, you know, families that split up and different things like that. Those are forced changes. Or when you lose a loved one, like we have COVID. Like these are all forced changes that we could not. um I mean, we had no choice but to just deal with it. Mm-hmm. You know, funny thing about COVID is that I don't care what color you are, right? Or how much you got in your bank, or what age you everybody are, everybody gonna be in the house. Everybody's today. in the house. So for me, it's just life. Like, like you can't fight life. No, you like, cannot. I think the more and more you fight it, the worse it is. Due to the fact that I know for me, like when I lost loved ones. Mm-hmm. I fought the change like man I hated that they wasn't here right. right and I spent so many days and and, and, and weeks mourning over them mm-hmm. and, and going through like you know and, and I think as I covered in the last podcast well not the last podcast last I mean the podcast I did how to handle bad days mm-hmm. go check that out yes but I let Weeks go by because mm-hmm. I was hurt, I, and I and I never tell people don't grieve. But at the end of the day, that shows how much you love that person. Right. That that like if you don't grieve, I will question your love for that mm-hmm. person. But at the end of the day, like you have to get to a point where, like like I said, I never have bad days, but I have bad moments. Right. I give myself a good two to three, maybe five minute time. Go ahead and do what you need to do. But at the end <laughs> of the day, you got a whole living life around you that you have to take care of, right. that you have to look out for. You got children that you had like you you like you can't be in a room cooped up with, with you know in the corner, you know in the dark and different other stuff. You got a whole wife. You got children. You got ministry. You got people who are. Counting on you and leaning on you, yeah. you have to come up out of this thing. Yeah. So that's why I embody change. I love change. And I expect you to do the same thing after listen to this podcast. Embody change, embrace it, seek knowledge, um, seek out the people who help you to embrace the change. So oh, if dang. you're not a person that uh generally you know, you're comfortable, you're comfortable where you are and you don't want to change. I mean, you can start with something super small. You know, I change my hair every day. Listen, <laughs> also but, read. Yes. Reading. If I know it sounds weird coming from me because I, I yeah, he I does not like read. to read. He but does not like to read tangible day, books. This is why I embody Jay. Right. Like, I'm like, if I want to become a, well, when I become wealthy, you're going to see that I read. I, I obtain knowledge like like for yeah. me like you have to do the steps yeah and that's that's going to be that's the biggest thing is i think the, the takeaways are step out of your fixed mindset and have mm-hmm. a growth mindset when it comes to change so not always looking at the the negative but 
pulling out those positives and sometimes it may be one positive but like they said for every i think it's for every negative you should have three positives then you need to list out if I make this change, what are my negatives or my, mm-hmm. my cons? What are my pros? And then go from there. Um, then two, like we said, seeking out the knowledge that may be YouTubing, that may be connecting with people that are um, doing things that you do, stepping outside of your box and outside of that comfort zone to network. I think that's the word I was looking looking for. Minimizing your entertainment. Yes. Oh, yes. Because a lot of times I know people use entertainment to cover the hurt. Right. Or to, you know, cover whatever they really going through Mm -hmm. in life. So they need something to take their mind up off of. So they don't have to deal with that change that's occurring. And now that you you quarantine, you have to deal with (laughs) self stuff. Well, well, you should Should be be. dealing with (laughs) self stuff. Right. But take time out to cut out if you can minimize your Mm -hmm. entertainment. Because if you find yourself being entertained more than gaining knowledge, mm-hmm. then you're going to lose in life. I guarantee you. Right. You're going to always find yourself fighting an uphill battle. Yeah. Due to the fact that you're full of entertainment and no knowledge. Right. And I think, too, we we take, and I, I talk to you about this a lot, we take the social media aspect and, you know, we... We finger scroll so much or we post so much. But if we actually use the social media platforms the way they were designed, which was to network and make connections, then a half of the stuff that we see, the foolery Mm -hmm. that we see would not be happening. I mean, nothing wrong with entertainment. You know, we we, like a good giggle, but. At the end of the day, um, it's it's about it's become more so of a networking for us. Mm -hmm. And so that's that knowledge seeking out people who can actually help us to change for the better to help in in learning. And I always, you know, talk to to Mo about um, just us learning individually and then us learning as a couple and then as a family learning. So. Like I said, you never, ever stop learning. So you have, you know, social media, you have YouTube, you have Google. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm going to say this and some people might cringe. Wikipedia isn't all bad. Um, cause I just Ooh. finished a class where That's there was a, a, a head lady, um, the over there and just talking about how it works. But, The reason that Wikipedia changes so much is because people have gone out and gotten knowledge and they are correcting something that may have been incorrect. Mm -hmm. So that's just like, I'm going to read this and I'm going to think that that's right. But I know that I just read an article the other day and it said this and this is incorrect. So let me fix it. It's just like Mm -hmm. when we like when I read stuff online. Updating your bio. Yeah, it's like updating your bio. But no, even worse than that, reading an article from a news station or from a newspaper online news article. And there are tons. Oh, Jesus. Sorry. There are tons of um, errors and mistakes. That's because nobody took the time to go back through and read over it to make sure it makes sense. Because Mm. I'm not going to tell you, hey, you the editor, but that's 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 wrong. You would. I I would (laughs) I would but it's just a tactful way that we have to go about change and we um we don't want to be destroyed I think that's this this word is just sitting here it's staring to demolish to knock down to pull down to level to uh, annihilate what but the funny thing is that that's not only just you but that's your generation like like do you want to sweeping through your generation destroying demolishing let's not even talk generation let's talk annihilating your family for the lack of knowledge for the not wanting to change annihilate y'all like wiping out completely like tearing it down demolished like (laughs) i'm thinking like i could picture a building being just knocked down to the the foundation well picture it this way 
Like no knowledge is the, the corona times fifty or a hundred. Like it's I'm talking no 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 care of what's in this path, right? What's in this it's way. just going I'm, hurricane torn like we could talk that like there's so many things that we could talk about that end up happening. <laughs> 